So it seemed kind of inevitable that smart face masks would become a thing sooner rather than later, as we're all basically rocking the face masks these days, apart from, of course, those who are medically exempt. And, you know, the f heads as well. And mask manufacturer Airpop is one of the first ones to pop one out. This is the Active Plus Smart Mask with Halo Sensor. And the Active Plus Smart Mask doesn't just protect you from the logie, it also assesses the quality of the air that you're breathing, and they can tell you about all the nasty stuff that it's prevented from getting inside of you. And this smart mask will be available from February from airpophealth.com, but it ain't exactly cheap. It'll be costing you 150 quid here in the UK, or $150 US size. So is the Airpop Active Plus with Halo Sensor actually worth that cash? I'm going to whip it out of the box and give it a thorough test in now to see exactly what you get. And for more of the latest greatest tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Okay, welcome to the air evolution. See what they did there. So there is the AirPop Active Plus face mask, already getting some strong bin vibes from it. A quality certified card, a user guide, thank God. You've got a dinky little carry pouch, which is always handy. And bundled in the box, you also get four filters to use with the Active Plus uh, face mask as well. And each filter apparently will do you for 40 hours of use. So using my exceedingly clever maths brain, that's 160 hours of use you'll get out of the Active Plus face mask until you'll need to buy replacement filters. You can get a pack of four direct from Airpop on their website for 20 quid, so five quid a filter. I tell you man, doing all that homeschooling with my kids, that maths is just like... Now the mask itself is formed from a single piece of fabric and it's designed to form a perfect seal with your mouth and nose, but there's also a nice large open chamber inside of it so you don't feel like you're being smothered while you're wearing it. And the mask is fully washable as well, you can wash it either with alcohol or with soap and water, uh, so when it gets all sweaty and skanky you can freshen it up a bit, you know what I'm talking about. This funky little silver button on the mask here, that's the actual halo sensor, so that's what records all of the data that we're going to be checking out. Uh, so as you see, to get started with that you just need to pull this little tab so step one is of course going to be inserting one of the dual layer replaceable filters inside of the AirPop mask. Nice and easy, it's got full instructions on the back in case you get stuck. And then a neat little touch, each filter even comes with its own unique QR code as well. So you can scan that when you insert the filter, that'll register the filter. You'll be able to see exactly how long you've had this one installed inside of your mask. And it also even verifies the authenticity of it as well. Make sure you haven't got any dodgy, hooky goods. And it's very straightforward stuff. You've got these little grooves just on the inside of the mask. You've just got to basically fit the filter into those grooves. Et voila. And as you can see there, you've actually got some uh, rubbery bits up here on the inside of the filter, which will just help to form a proper seal with your face when you're wearing the mask. And as I mentioned before, it's a dual layer system. You've got that outer layer, which helps prevent larger particles like dust particles from infiltrating the mask and getting inside of your lungs, never a good thing. And meanwhile, you've got a nanofiber core as well, which helps prevent all those smaller particles from, again, getting inside of you. So anyway, thanks to the magical wonders of video editing, I've skipped forward a few days. I've actually been trying out the mask for a good couple of days now. And this is what I think. So first of all, the, uh, the fit is really nice and comfy. And of course, with the mask on, I naturally look like a proper badass. Or at the very least, kind of like Bane's scrawny brother, the one with the crystal meth addiction. I found that that seal seems to stay intact around your mouth and nose, forming a proper barrier between you and the rest of the world. Even when you're talking or generally moving your face, it seems to stay intact. I found that the mask is really comfortable to wear for long periods as well. I felt the entire time I was wearing it, I could just breathe normally and it was absolutely fine there was no extra effort or anything like that needed that aerodome shape allows exhaled hair to dissipate effectively while trapping any droplets and particles that you breathe out so by wearing this mask you're also protecting anyone else who's around you as well as yourself i did find that the uh, the rubber seal and uh, actually tickled the bridge of my nose a little bit at times when i was talking at first well i quickly either got used to it or the mask adjusted and then it was absolutely fine when the mask hits uk stores on february the 15th you'll be able to download an app it'll be available via the google play store and also the apple app store and that'll help you to actually get connected to your mask and use those smart features and the mask is also compatible with apple HomeKit if you're an iOS user. Your phone actually connects to the Halo sensor inside the AirPop Active Plus mask. That's the, this little jobby here. And that's operated by a coin battery, uh, which will last you about six months. You do get one installed there when you first get your mask. And this sensor basically collects data on how much you're breathing and what you're breathing while you're wearing the mask as well. So it proves that that filter is actually doing its job. So in the test version of the app that I used, I could find out the air quality index. Basically tells me how many pollutants it has blocked, which definitely uh, reassures you that that, uh, wearing a mask is a good idea. The AirPop Active Plus uh, with Halo Sensor can also track your breathing 
uh, per minute, your breathing rate. Uh, so that's handy for one for telling you when the filter needs changing. It says, right, okay, you've used it for this amount of time. Slap a fresh one in there, make sure the mask keeps on doing its job. And when I was chatting with AirPop, they were even hypothesizing that this kind of technology could be used in the longer term to potentially diagnose respiratory illnesses, could be used for mindfulness, uh, you know, tracking stress levels, all that kind of stuff. Be very interested indeed to see where this technology goes. Oh, and via the app, you can also change the color of that funky LED ring on the Halo sensor as well. Just a handful of different colors, which is a neat little touch. So that right there, in a nutshell, is the AirPop Active Plus with Halo Sensor face mask. And it's definitely a very interesting use of smart technology. And I reckon it's something that will grow over the coming years, certainly as we get accustomed to wearing masks. Of course, the Active Plus is very expensive. So if you've got money to spare, then I would say go for it. Otherwise, you know, a perfectly good, well-designed mask will do you just fine for now. The main thing is obviously keeping safe. But what do you think? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Please do pog subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.